Good morning, guys, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, just a little bit north of Denver here. This morning, I'm going to be taking you through one of our new inventory pieces. This one is a 2023 Cimarron Norsar, which might throw you off because it does have those livestock slat sides there, but it is the North Star, so it is going to be the horse trailer version. We'll kind of go through that as we get through this trailer, but I know a lot of you guys that are familiar with Cimarron's are going to know that the North Star is typically your horse trailer, and then your Lone Star is going to be your stock combo, so this one might look like that, but as we get through, you'll kind of see in the back there that it actually is a North Star here. Um, this one just arrived last week, so it is here on the lot and it is available at this time, but I'm gonna run you through this one, show you what it has to offer and see if it might be something that you guys are interested in. So before we get to the trailer, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the drawing on your screen so we can go over this together. We'll just go over some of the dimensions before we get started. So this one is going to be your standard dimensions as far as height and width. So you're gonna be your 6'10 wide and your 7'1 tall. You'll notice that you do have a three foot eight inch front tacks. We've added a little bit of length to this front tack just to fit in. It is our RTG model. So we wanted to fit in all that stuff in that front tack there. So it made it a little bit longer. You're gonna have a 14 foot four inch stall area to get your three horses back there. Overall floor length is gonna be 18 feet. And then as always, you're gonna have that eight foot two gooseneck nose up there. Um, so pretty manageable size here, great set up on this trailer so we'll go ahead and get back to it and kind of run you through the options so we'll start here at our front tack like i just said this is our rtg model so ready to go model for those of you that are not familiar with rtg that is ready to go which means this tack room is fully loaded um, this is kind of like their their package package that they offer for anyone that wants just a really nicely set up front tack um, this is my fa my favorite setup of all of them. Um, it also comes in a dual tack, which I really like having that accessibility on both sides. But this one here is just your standard front tack. We're gonna go ahead and start at the door here. You're gonna have a window on your door. Again, this is that giant 42 inch door. So really big Cimarron front tack door here. Got the window on it for ventilation. You're also gonna have a, a window on each side up in the nose as well for more ventilation. But this one here is really good as far as just getting airflow to your saddle pads right here on the saddle pad rack. If they do get wet, sweaty, this is going to help dry them off and draw that smell out of your trailer, keeping them right here on the door, just going to pull it right out rather than getting it up inside your trailer. This does swing out. It's on that gas shock, same as your saddle racks. So when you are using this side of your trailer to tack and untack, it's really easy to just run over here and throw your pads on here or pull your pads off of here and then stick it back in. I do have this door on the hold back right now, which is why I can do this one handed. And then below this, we're gonna have that really big brush tray that we're all familiar with. I love the size of these ones. They are gonna have those two partitions. So you're gonna get three different containers in there and then they each have a, a drain hole in the bottom. So if something does spill, you can drain them out. But I really like how wide it is and then how deep it is. So typically you're gonna see some that are gonna just be a couple inches tall. You see in the fly spray bottles, Shoshin bottles, they stand up pretty tall. So to me, I get worried when they're this tall and they're just gonna, you hit a big bump and they're just gonna tip out of there. So these ones are nice and tall. They're gonna keep everything contained in there for you guys and you don't gotta worry about it running off on you. Go ahead and swing out this saddle rack for you guys. It is on that gas shock. It takes a minute to get it going, but then when it comes out, it comes out nice and smooth. Kind of helps you get it back out here. Three horses, so you're gonna get three saddle racks. We do have space, you can always add another one. These do slide up and down on this track. They're super easy to move. Just gonna loosen those bolts and slide it up and down where you want it and then tighten them back up. So if you did need more space here or there, you wanted to add another one. We can definitely do that here for you. These saddle racks, I was talking with one of my customers yesterday. They were asking about, I just picked up a sim run here and they were asking how good these saddle racks really are. If they're gonna have to worry about their saddles falling off when they get to their destination. So I was really, proud to be able to tell them that these are the best saddle racks you're going to find as far as like having the carpet which again is going to stick to your wool or your fleece line saddle there it's going to help help it grip but then this block here is what they call their wither block it's going to sit right up in the gullet of your saddle as if a horse's withers and they actually have designed this extrusion they own this extrusion they have tested it and they have built this for success so you know that 
they, it's not just they just design it and threw it on there and then they hope it works they've actually put it through the test and they know they can say for sure that this works and they are themselves proud to put it on the market so i was really glad telling my customers that they don't got to worry about that with this because i know a lot of us out there me myself especially own multiple saddles and they're not cheap so just knowing that when you get to where you're going they're still going to be on there and they're not going to be falling off on the floor getting damaged is really great so 42 inch door opening we did add that fold down step here being your 610 wide you're still going to have that full width running board around your trailer but right here we went ahead and cut that off and did a fold down step for you guys again on that gas shock same as everything else on these trailers really nice easy to use um, and it just drops it down a little bit further so if you do have to step up inside of here if you are carrying stuff it makes it a lot easier keeps your hands free and that way you can get up in here without having to grab on and pull yourself up in here so we'll step on in and kind of take a look at all the other features this rtg tack room has to offer so we'll just start up front here keep it nice and simple as we work around you'll notice something different on this north star is going to be that plexiglass tray I'm sure you guys are familiar with that on all of our Lone Stars, but we do have that in this North Star because of that hip side having those plexiglass air slats. So when you do pull those out, just run in here and stick them in there. It's going to keep them up off the floor. It's going to keep them contained, and then that way they're not getting scratched or broken. And then your gooseneck here, as far as your everything else, everything in this tack room is carpeted, so fully carpeted. Nose here, drop wall, boot box, floor, all that is this carpeting but it is a marine grade carpeting. It is really nice. It's super easy to clean. Just get you one of those battery operated vacuums or sweep it out, anything like that. It's gonna clean up really nice. And it does just keep it looking nicer and then lasting longer and also protects your stuff when you do throw it up here. Um, it's not getting scratched up because it is on carpet. So that's really nice. And again, those windows for ventilation up there. Boot box. A boot box is one of my favorite things to have in a trailer. I really like that this one is a good size. They didn't take up your whole floor length. That way, if you did have something bigger that you need to stick over there, you can do that. But they did give you a great size box here. Du doubles as a step up in to your gooseneck. So dual purpose there, but also storage. So they does have the same carpet down in the bottom there. But you are going to get really nice storage here. As far as just keeping things, again, contained and in one place, they're not rolling around, and then nobody has to see them either. So if you just want to use that as storage, stuff that you don't have to get to very often, just throw it in there and don't have to worry about it. That is a great spot for all of that. Um, really quick, up here on our roof, you're going to see this frame here. looks like a little square cut out there. That is pre-framed for an AC unit. So if you did ever want to upgrade this front tack here to just get some more air for you in here, if you did need to spend a night or two, that is pre-framed for AC. So we've taken out some of the work for you already. If you ever want to do that upgrade, you bring it back in and it's already framed and ready to go for you. So it saves a lot of time and money there for you guys. Coming back over, we have our shelf with our clothes bar under it. This shelf is gonna have that two inch lip on it so that when you do set stuff down in here, it actually goes down in here and it's not gonna slide back off this shelf. Right below that, you're gonna have your clothes bar if you are rodeoing out of this trailer, you're horse showing out of this trailer, you're trail riding and you have extra jackets and rain slickers, anything that you need to hang up, um, I think you could also use it really well to hang extra sheets and coolers for your horses. If you had some extra clothes hangers, throw those up on there and then hang these over here. That way you're not eating up all of your bridle hooks with that extra stuff. So lots of space here to hang lots of things. And then over here, I just said bridle hooks. We're going to have those over here. You're going to have two rows of them and fully carpeted behind. So what that's gonna do for you here is just protect your sheeting. So if you did, or when you do hang your bridles up on here or your halters and they got buckles, conchos, bits, all kinds of clips and stuff on them, any metal that would be hanging here, it could just, if it rubbed back and forth, it would scratch this material and it would scratch your tack as well. So went ahead and put carpet behind these so it keeps your trailer nice and it keeps your tack nice as well. I think it just makes the trailer look nice as well. One of my favorite upgrades to do to a trailer is go ahead and just carpet this entire partition wall. So if you are looking for upgrades or building your own trailer, I always recommend to my customers, just go ahead and carpet that entire wall. That way, if you do set stuff on this floor down here too, and it bangs up against this lower wall here, you're just protected. I'm gonna go ahead and swing this out for you guys really quick. So we can take a peek inside of our corner back in here. 
usually kind of just a dead space, kind of like the lost black hole over there. We went ahead and used this space, made it work for you guys and added a 25 gallon water tank. It is gonna fill from the top and then it has your drain down there. And again, it comes with your hose here as well. So when you do get that uncoiled, you hook it up to here, you can run it out of your trailer, um, use it to fill buckets, wash off boots, wash off dogs, wash off horse legs. And then that also is for draining it in the winter time. You don't want to leave water sitting in there if it's going to freeze. So just run that out and drain that tank for the winter and then fill it back up again. Now when it's getting nice out. So again, this is their RTG model. Super nice loaded with all the options, all the features. Really a popular package that they like to offer. Um, one of my favorite setups. So come back here and take a look. One thing I did not mention in your tack room is the light. Obviously you got a nice big Optibrite above your door there, just like you see out here. You got your bright awning LED light out here. So visibility throughout inside your tack room, throughout the exterior and again on the inside as well. So you have your big awning light up there and then this plexiglass. So this trailer does have drops on that head side over there and it's gonna have the plexiglass on the hip side. Super nice. Cimarron's have this little cut out right here you'll see it on all anything that has the plexiglass so it's really easy to just stick your fingernails inside of here use a flathead screwdriver use a pocket knife anything to just get that pulled up there and then you just slide it out stick it in your tray up there so really convenient they thought about the consumers they thought about anyone who would be using this trailer and they just want to make life easier for you guys so really nice product that, that they offer on their trailers there three horse trailer you're gonna get three tie rings our shop does add those if you ever needed more we can do that here but three horses got three tie rings so you can tie them all up on this side and you also have three on the other side so you can tie them over there as well coming down here this trailer is gonna have two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles underneath it it is gonna be upgraded to those aluminum black spoke wheels so see those have that black accent on them I think that looks really sharp kind of makes it stand out looks super nice so empty this trailer is going to weigh 4,650 pounds and then you've got two 6k axles under it so you have a lot of loading capacity on top of these axles gives you lots of room to work with if you were loading stock in here instead or if you did have some bigger horses and loaded it with tack you don't have to worry about that at all so great axle capacity on here green valve stem cover is going to indicate that these are filled with nitrogen so what that's going to do for you here is just really maintain that PSI. It's not going to fluctuate as much as air, um, especially when it has these colder nights and then warmer days. It's not going to deflate and then inflate as you roll down the road. So really reduces your risk of a blowout. Just peace of mind there. With these brand new Lion's Head tires, you are getting a one year, no questions asked replacement warranty and two years of roadside assistance. So even more peace of mind with this whole setup here. We're going to go ahead and step around to this back side here. Take a look at our loading space. And check out that it really actually is a North Star horse trailer. Just instead of those sliding bus windows or the drop downs on the hip, we went ahead and done plexiglass. We just like to order all of our trailers a little bit different, give everyone, give all of our consumers different features to pick from so we don't have a bunch of cookie cutter horse trailers here we have everything that's going to work for somebody so if you're interested in this one we also do the bus windows and the drop downs but i really like the plexiglass on these ones so back here you are going to have this butt strap so if you did once you do load it and you have one in this third stall you have this butt strap back here when you did open both of these doors like this it's going to prevent that horse from keep him inside the trailer prevent him from stepping out on you here so just wanted to leave that up so I could show you guys while you're back there you could also notice that these doors are 60 40 doors that is just something that we really like to do on our trailers when we order them we can always do a 50 50 double door but these ones are going to be 60 40 this one's going to be your smaller one here your 61 is going to have that window on it to keep that airflow just more ventilation for these animals back here but I think this is just really again gives you even more convenience with this trailer to leave this 41 shut it's going to shut right here on you can just load all your animals all your horses through that 60 door right there that way you're not having to open two 50 50 doors 
and giving them that 60 space over there still gives them lots of room and makes it a little bit more comfortable for them climbing up in there. So I really like that we do offer those 60, 40 doors on the majority of the trailers that we order. So stepping up inside of here, you'll notice that this one here is gonna be your stud wall. So your first stall will have that full length divider there and it is gonna have that escape door which we will check out once we get to that head side up there. But this works really well for horses that don't get along with others. So really marish mares or if you did have a stud because it is a stud stall, um, that works well for that. Or if you did use it for storage, again, it's got that escape door. So works really well as an extra storage space. But I just really like that versatility. Just having those options is always really nice. And as we'll check it out, I want to get to that head side, but it does have a chest bar for your escape door there as well. And this one has been upgraded to have the D-rings in each stall. You guys can check out, it's got D-rings in each one. So if you did want to hang those corner feeders, you can pick one up at any ranch supply store. They're kind of universal. So just get one clipped in there and then you can feed them inside of this trailer. You have kick mat lining all the way around this trailer, rubber mats on the floor on top of their aluminum floor. If you guys were to crawl underneath this trailer, which you don't have to, but if you ever came to the lot and did, you would notice that it does have floor supports, which are V-shaped trusses every four inches. So underneath these horses here is going to be the strongest floor on the market. I personally have been down to Cimarron. I've seen these being built in production and they are pretty cool, really sturdy. So really comforting to know that anywhere that you or your horses step on this floor, you are standing on a floor support. And then those two big OptiBrite LED lights is the same one that you got in your tack room up there. You get two of them back here. They are super, super bright. So when you are getting home late at night, leaving early in the morning, you just flip your light switches on and you're gonna have lots of visibility for you and your animals. I know it's just, a, it's a lot easier to work when you have daylight in here, but it's also just easier for your horses too. Makes them more comfortable getting in and out. You're also gonna have a roof vent above each of these stalls here. These are two way roof vents. So you can go ahead and push them forward. It's gonna draw the air into the trailer and then you can push them backwards and it's gonna draw the air out of the trailer. So what we always recommend is that first one up there, push it forward and draw that air in. And then any of these back here, open one of them to push back out and it's gonna draw the air out. So it kind of works as really good circulation there as well as having your drop downs, your plexiglass, and then your sliding bus window on that 60 door. So lots of airflow, lots of options. So if it is cooler out, you don't have to open any windows. You can maybe just crack those or slide open a window. And if it does get really hot, you can open out all your plexiglass, drop down all your windows and open those. And you don't have to worry about anyone overheating, especially, especially with Cimarron's insulated roof. You'll notice it is white up there. It is comes standard on all Cimarron trailers. Really great for temperature regulation, keeps it warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, and it also protects against hail. So being in Colorado, you know we get hail. It is really nice to know that when it does hail, you don't gotta go run outside and worry about your trailer. It is gonna stand up and be super durable. So step around to this head side here. So like I said, on this side, you're gonna have those drop down windows. You have one at each stall. Even on your escape door, you're gonna have a drop down window. They're all super easy to use. One handed use, they've made everything really convenient. So they will drop down and then clip into place. So if you wanted to roll down the road like this, you can. They're gonna stay down there and you don't have to worry about that wave effect that windows do when they don't pop into place. So these ones are gonna stay there. And then if you did, Want to drop those jail bars. Just gonna lift it up a little bit and pull it right out of those gaps there. And you can drop those down. So if you did have corner feeders in there, you could throw some more hay in there. You could throw a scoop of grain in there. Or if you just wanted to check on them, this one being that 610 wide has your full width running board. So you can step up on here, grab onto your tie rings, grab onto your windows, wherever you need to. And then you can just peek on them Make sure that they're riding well, make sure that nothing has happened back there because horses will be horses and you just never know. 
And if you didn't need all that airflow, this one does have the sliding bus windows inside of those drop downs. 16 inch awning light up there as well. Same axles, tires over here. And then your escape door. So we talked about this being set up for a very marish mare or stud or any horse that you do put in here. Even if it's just a nice gelding, you're gonna have a chest bar here so that when you do open this door, they can't jump out on top of you. Still has the D-rings for the corner feeder or go ahead and pop that out. And then you have a really nice storage space. I personally have one of these in my trailer, a big stud wall like this with that escape door and I use it so much for storage. I have that thing packed full. What I do is I buy plastic bins from Walmart, Home Depot, Sam's Club, anything like that. Those rub big Rubbermaid tubs and I stack them in here and they stack really well. They don't move around and that way it keeps everything contained, keeps that stuff from getting shavings blown on it or dust, keeps everything clean. And that way, if you did st put stuff in here, like if it was a, like a blanket or something, you don't have to worry about it catching air and flowing into your horse space. Just keep it in rubber tubs and it works out really well. I also have a lot of extra buckets and pitchforks and stuff like that in there. On this door here, since it does access the horse area, you're gonna get two different locking mechanisms here. So you do have your standard latch there, which is gonna shut, but they didn't want to run the risk of an animal popping that open and jumping out while you're on the freeway we went ahead and added a secondary latch as well so keeps everything where it's supposed to be and then what we've done on all of our Cimarron's when we order them for inventory we order them with that upgrade of the 53 inch drop on this gooseneck wall so what that is going to do for you is that when you do a hook it up we just know that all of these the newer trucks they just keep getting taller and taller as far as like the bed rails and everything, they're just getting closer and closer to your goosenecks. And then you have to worry about hitting your bed rail, hitting your tailgate. I have dented a couple tailgates, so it does happen. We have just went ahead and increased this drop wall for you. It makes it sit up. It's gonna eat into this space up here, but as you guys noticed inside, there's still plenty of clearance in this area. So it just eats into there. It's not gonna change anything else, but what that's gonna do when you do hook it up, it's gonna give you more clearance there, but it's also gonna allow it to ride level. So if you do have a trailer without that 53 inch drop wall, I know you gotta extend your coupler and get this to set up a little bit higher to give you more clearance, then you're gonna ride down the road at an angle and that's not good for your tires. So with this drop wall, it's gonna allow it to ride level and still give you that clearance. So even better on your tires. This one here has your single just manual jack that can be upgraded to an electric hydraulic jack. That is always a very popular upgrade. And then when you do that upgrade, it also gives you, since you have to have that battery to run the jack, it gives you the ability to run your lights off of that battery too. So without being, like right now I have mine plugged into a battery box, you could do that without being plugged into your truck. So as it sits right now, it has to be plugged into your truck to run lights, upgrade to that electric jack, gives you a really nice battery box with a battery in it, then you can run all of your lights when you're unhooked as well. Matching spare tire. So whenever you do have to change a tire because accidents happen, once you put your spare on, you are matching. So even if you have to roll up to a show on your spare tire, no one's gonna know. It's gonna look nice, same size, same color, everything like that. And then you'll notice it is mounted up higher for two reasons. One, to make room for that electric jack upgrade if you did want to do that. Just like the AC frame, we've already saved you a step of work as far as time, labor, cost, that kind of thing. We've already saved that step. So we've mounted it up, gives you lots of room to add that bigger electric jack under there. Also, when you mount it up here, it's gonna really prevent a lot of that kick up from your truck, the dirt, the mud, the salt, from hitting that spare tire. So if it were down here, it's gonna get a beating from the rocks and the dirt and all that. So when you do change it, it is gonna be dirtier. When you put it up here, it keeps it cleaner, keeps a little bit nicer. When you do change it, just a little bit nicer for you guys and easier on your tire as well. Make sure I got all of your upgrades here. It's really nice setup trailer. I was really excited to show this one to you guys. 
As you know, all of our trailers have a stock tag on them. So if you are walking the lot, grab, at, grab your phone, scan that QR code, it'll take you to the web page. If you're at home watching, you can just type in that stock number right there. It's gonna be 5N230178. You type that in our website, it will take you to that web page. Just scroll to the very bottom in the search bar and type in that number. It takes you to the web page for this trailer. Like I said, currently is still available. Really well set up trailer. Kind of unique options that we don't have on the lot right now. This is only one of its kind. We did have a four horse version of this, but it's already sold. It did sell before it even got here. So just keep in mind, these are gonna go fast. If I can help you out, answer any questions. If you wanna give me a call and put your name on this one. Again, my name is Michaela Geis. My information is gonna show up on your screen. This stock number is also gonna show up in the description on this video. So if you did need to reference that, just scroll down and check that out. My phone number is gonna be 303-918-6367. That is my personal cell phone, so call it or text it if that's easier for you guys. And then my email, Geis at transwest.com. Feel free to reach out that way if that's better. But thank you guys for tuning in and checking out this trailer with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time.